Hi guys. Um, today, after Gus gets picked up early from school, we go to therapy, and then he has an appointment for pre-op to get his MRI done, which is next week. Also, I got the bill for my credit care that I spent on trying to save the dog, so it's kind of sad. And I have 1600 to pay back. I'm not feeling so well today. My whole body hurts. It's been hurting for two days. And I still got a collab to do for gaming on my other channel. So, being... I don't know if you'd call it chronically ill, but I have problems all the time. Being ill and taking care of a special needs kid is not the easiest and yesterday I did have a little bit of an issue with Gus, but then he mellowed down and he was pretty good for the most part for most of the day. So I was able to relax my body. My whole body hurts from my arms to my back to my legs. And if I laugh, it pain goes through my back. Or if I cough or sneeze, pain goes through my back. So today is not a good day for me. And I don't know what my issue is, but when it's colder, my body hurts more. And doctors think I have fibromyalgia because I did testing and there's no reason connected to the pain that I have. So, let's just say I hate winter. I hate the cold. Not to mention, my son gets sick a lot in the wintertime and congested because of his asthma and allergies luckily since he's been on a steroid he doesn't get as bad as he did but he had like bronchitis and was prone to upper respiratory infections and stuff and then my asthma got bad so I'm on a steroid now and sometimes it's hard to breathe in the cold and my body's always hurting so, uh, I'm going to be picking gas up soon, so, see you when we pick him up. Oh my god, look at that, usually there's nothing here, but you actually did something. Did you do that, baby? Huh? Oh. Yeah! There's Gus! Yeah! Oh. Yeah, watch good, out, baby. Good job. Good job. Let's go. So we picked Gus up from school, and then the teacher asked me if she could do a behavioral evaluation, because apparently there's a lot of non-compliance, and he drops himself to the floor and has his little tantrums or meltdowns like he does at home, so he must feel comfortable there. I told her, yeah. Her, basically, she's going to send me something to sign or something. And basically, he's going to get like 10 extra minutes with the teacher because it's kind of hard to give him the one-on-one -on -one that they suggested that he have through school, but uh, basically 10 extra minutes is pretty good. So they're going to try to work on his behavior. So that's interesting. Also, when we got a backpack, one of the straps are like totally unattached. It like, no strap. It like got broke off or something and nobody knows why. And it was a normal backpack this morning, and now it's like one-handed. <laughs> so, uh, I'm guessing it happened on the bus, because nobody else knows what happened. So, I don't know, that was fairly interesting too. So now we're heading to therapy. I also wanted to show you guys what I got my sister for Christmas that I'll be dropping off. If y'all seen Harry Potter, you should know, but it's from Harry Potter, and I found it pretty cheap. And I think they're like super cool, and I automatically thought of my sister, so I got these. It's got all four houses. It got on it. like all four what? Houses on it. Houses on them. Slytherin, Hufflepuff. Yeah, I don't Gryffindor, know what all of them are. I guess he knows. He's oh. a Harry Potter nerd. I mean, my sister made me watch all of them, but the last one, so I should know this, but I really don't. I have the last. I just know Slytherin, uh, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff. but I don't. And Hufflepuff, but I don't know the like the signs. That might be Gryffindor. I think that's Slytherin. I don't know. There's two snakes. Anyways, yeah, that's why I got her. They're pretty cool. 
I've, I would even probably use them both on uh, my sister. I'm not like a big Harry Potter nerd. I have seen all of them, like I said. My sister used to take me to them all, and then I would take her to Lord of the Rings. <laughs> for once until the transition they straight freaked. We are getting ready to go to the bank and then back for his pre-op to his MRI that he'll be having next week. Yes, baby. For the hundredth time. Yeah, you know, what is his name? Blake. His name's Blake. Blake. His name's Blake. He got to name. Baby. <laughs> Blake. Blake. Oh, he tried. <laughs> <laughs> Came out blocked. <laughs> Get down. Augustus! Augustus! Get back here! Swimming. Where are we going? Did you see the puppy? Baby. Yeah. We gotta take your breaks though. Do it. Mm -hmm. Thirty-one. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Is that crazy? Oh my gosh, it's already at the right height. Hey, look at me. Look at me. All right, you're about three foot two. Pound it. All wow, right. three foot two. Yeah, almost. He's like, I push it on it. He's like, I want to be taller. <laughs> right. Dad? Just watch. Good job, baby. I have your shoes. Doing so good. Oh. I'm okay, sorry. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you gotta stay still. Mm -hmm. I meant there. I thought it's something was wrong with you. his heart because you took no, so long. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with your heart. You gotta stay You're fine. You gotta sit still. Baby. Baby. I didn't think that was going to work. I don't like him neither. Believe me.
<laughs> Growling at it. All right. Who are you talking to? Hey y'all. <clears throat> so we're home. Uh, I just got done making chili. It's pretty good. After the doctors, we went to Hy-Vee to get the stuff of the chili. The um. To my sisters to drop off her gift. And then when we got back, I couldn't find a can opener. So then Tim left again to go get a can opener from Dollar Tree plus a couple other things we needed. And then my sour cream was missing. So then he had to go back outside to see if it's out there. So this chili has been the death of us, but it's pretty good. Still haven't got Augustus to eat yet. So if you have any suggestions on how to get an autistic child to eat, Please let me know <laughs> in the comments because the uh, struggle is real. I've even tried smoothies. Um, but the pediatrician went really well. He's healthy to get sedated, which I already knew. But apparently it's like protocol or whatever. So his MRI is next week. Um, the pediatrician did say that she probably could have diagnosed him with autism the first time she's seen him. Just some people seem to not rush to a diagnosis as other people like <clears throat> sorry like uh, <laughs> uh the parents that feel like their kids are on the spectrum try to get a diagnosis as early as possible to get them the help they need so that went very well he however when we we're in the lobby there was this other couple okay and they had a 15 month old baby and I believe I got some clips of it that's early on before this. And literally, the whole time we're out there, he chased this kid around going, baby, baby, baby. And then if it drops something, Gus goes, uh-oh, goes over, picks it up, and goes, there you go. And then if the baby ran off, he'd be like, baby. I went and chased him. For some reason, he was so concerned about this kid. And let me tell you. 50 month old is about as tall as Augustus. And he's three. This kid is tall. And it was the most interactive I've ever seen him with any child. So I was a little shocked by that. And I didn't know if I was supposed to tell him he was autistic or whatnot because I was getting a little embarrassed. I felt like they cared, but I guess they didn't. They were a very nice family. And I did tell him he was autistic and he may repeat baby the whole time we're out here. And he may follow the kid around the whole time we're out here. And they said, that's fine. They didn't care. <clears throat> and the child, the baby, well, 50-month-old, seemed to like Gus anyways. They did hug once, and then they held hands. But then the 50-month-old scratched him. But, you know, he's 15 months old. So that was kind of interesting. Um... I don't know why it gave me such anxiety. I'm like, leave that family alone. <laughs> and then he thought that this other kid that was next to the table was going to eat his cereal. So he hit the cereal under Tim's chair and ate out of it. And then when we got back to the pediatrician's office, he played with the phone. The whole time he ended up calling something that said, uh, the person you reached is unavailable or something. And he flipped on and off the light switches. And since it was a physical, he was knocked down to his diaper. So I didn't get much more time to record what was going on there. So that was interesting. Good God, I have the dropsies today. Anyways, I made these cookies. Yep. And I also tried Gus and Slime. Take a look. Cookie. Let me see your hands. Show mommy. <laughs> Ew. You? Let me get stuff off your hands. Let me. I'm going to let you all go now. Hope you all have 
an awesome day. And I will talk to you later. Bye, guys. Yo.